Joining us now is Dr. Barry Fishman with the University of Michigan. You are a professor of information and education. A lot of your research focuses on technology these days. How are teachers using technology to teach science? Well, technology is playing an ever more important role. Science is the kind of area where a lot of the phenomena that we want students to engage with are not possible to bring into the classroom directly. So technology simulations, um, opportunities for exploring virtual worlds, they're all spaces where students can engage with real science uh, in a way that puts them directly in touch with the ideas that just wouldn't be possible without the technology. You also do a great deal of research on using video games as a model for learning. And uh, as a parent, I'm a little cynical about learning through video games, but you say it's possible. Well, I believe that a really well-designed video game is actually a really good learning environment. You don't play a game unless you are fully engaged. If it's too difficult, you get frustrated and you quit. If it's too boring, you get bored and you quit. So a game that's successful is really well-tuned. Now that's true for the entertainment world. For the education world, can we make games that are similarly challenging and engaging and teach the kids the stuff that we want them to learn? Well, that's a big challenge. But especially in the area of science, simulation and game-like environments are great ways to explore, to have experiences, to start to form some role play and identity around science uh, that is extremely engaging for kids. And I've seen lots of examples of very simple games that help students master some concepts to very complicated games that let students act like scientists. And that's a, that's a key part of the classroom today. Speaking of games, you say school is like a game, just not a very good one? So uh, schools have all the characteristics of, of any game. They've got rules, they've got structures, they've got competition. The problem is school is a terrible game. The stakes are high. People um, don't want to play it over and over again. There, there's a lot of fear of failure, and there's not a lot of encouraging of risk taking because the, the, the stakes of failure are so high. So I think we can make school into a much better game where we get people to do hard things because they, they choose to, because they find those hard problems really interesting. And science is a great domain for that because it's full of hard, interesting problems. That being said, and considering how technology has just you know, really evolved. What do you think science teaching and learning will look like five years from now, maybe even 10 years from now? How is it going to look in the future? Well, I expect, especially with the support of technology properly used, I would expect to see a lot more personalized pathways through the curriculum. So it, technology is already allowing students to do a lot more individualized learning, um, even group individualized learning. So rather than a teacher having everybody doing the exact same activity at the exact same time, with technology, people can be going off in different directions around a central question and then come back together when the teacher wants them to. Uh, in the area of assessment, technology is very useful for teachers to be able to actually have a handle on what their students are doing all the way through an activity. So whereas before you might have had to stop and give a quiz on something, now you can use technology as a form of formative assessment to really assess learning as it's ongoing and to do assessment for future learning so that you can help students pick the most important activity for them to do next to maximize their science learning. You make learning sound fun. I hope so, thank you. Dr. Barry Fishman, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure.